Hey, a good Thursday, everybody. Uh, watching some severe storms, not in our state, just south of our state. And we're going to watch this closely to see if they uh, can kind of scrape the southern fringes of the state. Right now, it looks like the strongest convection is going to stay uh, south of the state line here. But we'll watch. And this uh, area of storms here, what looks to be, be becoming a uh, MCV or a um, mesoscale convective or MCC mesoscale convective complex, uh, could have an influence on tomorrow's storms. Uh, let me go ahead and actually just show you a uh, precision cast and we'll look at uh, what the latest models are showing because they have come out here. Uh, see that uh, mesoscale, con convec <laughs> can't talk. mesoscale convective complex move across the state line? Uh, could have an impact on where we see storms uh, tomorrow afternoon. You can see it actually is rolling through south central North Dakota by early tomorrow morning. Uh, cold front will come through and it does look like this particular model is depicting storms firing back up by tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening, but keeping it mostly in central North Dakota. So interesting to see if the evolution of uh, that storm complex there has an effect on where we see storms forming uh, tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. It could be a, uh, a boundary that, that sets up that complex of storms. Uh, in any case, uh, there is that risk for severe weather tomorrow. It's going to be very hot, very humid, and uh, we'll be looking at a uh, slight risk. That's what the Storm Prediction Center has out for us tomorrow, and it does include Minot and Bismarck. And uh, we could see some uh, pretty strong thunderstorms as they will develop in an area considered uh, highly unstable with all the heat and humidity out there. And we will see high humidity and heat levels tomorrow through much of the day, regardless if we get storms or not. So lows tonight, temperatures getting down into the 60s and your highs tomorrow, temperatures getting up into the upper 80s and uh, even into the mid 90s. So three day forecast here, temperatures will be uh, pretty hot next couple days, although cooling off on Sunday, we'll have a secondary cold front come through and you can see temperatures will be only be in the upper 70s for the Williston area behind that second front. So Minot, seven day forecast here, hot tomorrow with a chance of storms in the afternoon and evening. And then uh, another front comes in, should clear out by Sunday, that'll keep us much cooler. And uh, Bismarck will be uh, cooling off through the weekend as well, though temperatures still quite warm. And then it uh, looks like a return to heat and possibly some uh, storm chances ramping up by the end of next week as well. So that's what we got going on right now. Really looking at the new data coming in. It's a tricky forecast, but uh, we will uh, have the latest for you coming up at 9 and 10 o'clock.